Uh, first morning I'm actually walking the dog around exploring and I see a local next to this, I don't know, retention pond. Hi. Seen any good birds lately? I mean, I've met deer before and this impasse can last for forever until like one of us moves. So I'm just gonna speed this along and run away. Go, shoot, go on. I don't know why she's not running away. Please leave, because I gotta go through there. No, don't go in the direction we're going. <laughs> um, I don't know. See, this is the problem with suburban deer. They don't run away when you want them to run away. Please run away, so I can Go, oh, shoot, be a good deer. The deer is like licking its chops, so. What if it's like a carnivorous deer and it wants to eat us? You think we could fight off a carnivorous deer, Leo? Well, I can report that this deer has gorgeous eyelashes, um, a shiny coat, it looks like a healthy weight. I don't really specialize in ungulates, but, uh, Looks like it's in good body condition to me. Which is the case with many suburban deer, because it has like no predators and a million and one tended fields to browse. All right. I would just walk by and assume it would run away, but I don't want to risk the other option where the deer decides to stand its ground and like stomp one of us, because I also don't want to fight a deer. And it's very rare, but sometimes deer do try to kick dogs, which is normal for them to do, because dogs are, you know, a menace. Not only is this wild deer letting us get very, very close. It's like... Like, what are you doing? Why don't you just go? I have never met a deer this tolerant of people that wasn't tranquilized and, like, being processed. Or in a zoo. Actually, most deer I know would have heard us coming and been left. I never would have even seen the deer. Are you going to eat instead? Like, go. Come on, sweetheart. There you go. You got a scratch? I know. You're itchy. This has gone on for four minutes. Thank you. All right. Now we can go.